Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to be sharing a couple cards with you using the Christmas Scotties bundle. This is a new bundle in the July through December, oh that's hard to say, um, a holiday mini catalog. Now if you don't have that catalog, I'd be happy to send you one, just let me know. There will be um, my email address later in the video if you need to contact me. We're gonna be making one card. I'm gonna show you another color option. I'm also incorporating the um, deckled rectangle dies and also the split card texture dies. Oh my gosh, right? This is part of the Stampers Dozen blog hop tonight. So make sure at the end of the video that you click on the link I'm gonna share with you. So you can head over to my blog and see what everybody else made. Our theme for this month is anything goes. So that's really fun. We have the opportunity to use anything and share anything that we love with you. So let's turn this camera around. We'll get started. I'm also going to tell you a little bit about my Christmas Scotty's kit, which is an online class. And then you get a kit in the mail. Super fun. Let's get started. We are going to be using this fabulous Christmas Scotty bundle. I've had so much fun with this, as well as the perfectly penciled designer series paper. Now, I'm also bringing in Daffodil Delight ink, as well as Memento Black. We'll be using the Stamparatus, and I'll explain to you why this is really helpful with the Christmas Scotty bundle as well as the deckled rectangle dies. These are a really fun set of dies. And the split card texture dies. Oh, love this. I've got the Daffodil Delight Dark Stamp and Blend Marker and a blending brush here. So let's get started with our card layers. Okay, I've got a Daffodil Delight card base. This is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half inches. So we're going to just burnish that score line good. Oops, I see that I scored a little crooked. Anytime you do that, you can just force it into place with your bone folder. Then I've got two basic white layers. These are both four by five and a quarter. I've got a Daffodil Delight layer that is two and three quarters by four and an eighth. By the way, at the end of the video, there's going to be a link that you're going to click on in the top right corner. That's going to take you right to my blog post for this project. And that's where you're going to follow along on the blog hop but you're also going to find a free downloadable project sheet with all the dimensions, ingredients, details, photos, and a link to this video that you can save to your computer or device, or you can print out and keep it in your library of stamping ideas, which is really fun. I've also got a scrap of Daffodil Delight, as well as a scrap of Basic White, this little black piece is one by one and a half. And then I always like to decorate my envelopes. So I've got some of the perfectly penciled designer series paper here. And I am going to be adding a little color to this. I love black and white paper because you can make it match anything with a little ink color. So I'm loading my blending brush and then I'm going to start on my scrap paper and blend this color in. Load it again, start over here, and then keep swirling. And you can continue to do this until you get the depth of color that you would like. But I don't recommend starting on here because you get these kind of darker images that maybe aren't as attractive as you would like your layer to be. I like it to be nice and smooth. And look at how fun that is to make this any color of ink that you have. That's what that's what the draw to black and white paper is for stampers. Like that is so fun that you have so much control over what color it's going to be. Now, 
my piece here is two and a half by six and I just take my liquid glue and add a little glue around the outside of my envelope flap and I must have a little bit of a clog here. Let me grab a tissue and pull that out of there so that'll flow nicer. I don't want to fight that the whole time I'm making cards. Liquid glue is my favorite adhesive. I just like it because it goes a long ways. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room because it doesn't dry instantly, but it dries quick enough that you don't have to sit around waiting for it either. And the less glue you use, the better. Because if you put a lot of glue on, well then of course your, your drying time is gonna be extended. So here's our fun envelope flap that's gonna match our yellow card. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take a couple of these layers and we're going to do our die cutting. So from the split card texture dies, oh my gosh, these are so fun. I'm gonna grab one of those basic white layers and I am going to add this, leaving the same margin here and here and I'm gonna die cut this. And then I'm also going to grab Oh, this white layer and we're going to use those decal dies and I think this is the one that I want. Let me make sure this is the one that fits inside this yellow layer because we're going to layer it on there. Yep, this is the exact one that I want. So that is the one, two, three, four, fifth from the middle, so fifth from the smallest of the deckled rectangles. So I'm gonna die cut this. I am going to die cut this. And then as long as we're gonna be die cutting, let's get this stamp. Now, my Christmas Scotty's stamp set has sentiments in it, okay? but. Two of them are Christmas and one says you are loved, which is a nice sentiment, but not exactly what I needed this card for. So I brought in the Inspired Thoughts sentiment set, and this is just a nice crisp and clean font. There are 11 different sentiments in here, and I'm going to be using the Sending Healing Thoughts Your Way so I can make up some Get Well cards that I'm going to be needing. I know I've got some friends that are going to be having some procedures done and I like to have these made up ahead of time. So I'm using Memento Black Ink. I'm going to stamp my sentiment and then I'm going to bring in the smallest deckled rectangle die and I'm going to die cut this over as far to the left as I can, keeping those words on there. So I'm gonna get all of these things die cut. I'll be right back. And here comes all of our layers. I'm gonna grab a scrap of white here and we're gonna do some more stamping. I'm gonna bring in that Stamparatus because this Scotty dog is a very um, solid image. And using your Stamparatus is a really good way to get that image solid by being able to stamp it more than once. So I've got a scrap of basic white here and I am just going to put this on my grid here. And then I'm gonna grab my Scotty Dog stamp, lay it down here close my lid to pick it up okay and then we can ink that up i like to put an ink pad or a stamp case underneath this platform so it keeps it level instead of it angling down on the table it's just easier to ink up that way and it keeps it nice and firm so here comes our first stamp with a memento black ink and you can see that the image is pretty good, but it's not exactly as solid as I would like it to be. So that's why I like to use my Stamparatus. This is a fantastic tool for so many things. 
but it's also great to be able to stamp again in the exact same location and get that very solid image on there. So I've got this done. And then we're going to pull in this deckled layer. And I am going to stamp my Scotty dog a few more times on this layer. So I've got, I want him to be about right here. So we're gonna hold them in place with our magnets. And we're gonna ink that dog up again. Oops, let's move my magnet just a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna do that one more time to get it nice and solid and crisp. That looks really good. Then I'm going to move this. We're gonna clean off this stamp. And we're gonna take that dog off of there. And we're gonna bring in the dog that's kind of sitting down. So I'm just gonna move this up here. Again, we're gonna hold our piece in place with our magnets. And this dog I want to be right about here. Pick that up. There we go. ink it again. That looks really nice and solid. So once again, I am done with this particular stamp. Clean it up with my chamois. And now I'm going to come in with this little dog. And this little dog, I want to have right in this space right here. So again, we're going to pick it up. Get that inked up good. Get that dog on there. And we're going to stamp that one more time to make it nice and solid. Isn't this cool? I just think that's so neat. Okay, there we go. Now, let me get this cleaned up again. And I'll clean this off. So it'll be ready to go for the next time. Right, I think we can put the ink away and we can start some assembly here. So this is our card base. And now we're going to bring in this layer and isn't that just beautiful? Look at, I love the pop of color under this. I just think it's so neat. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue around the outside layer here. And then just a tiny bit on a few of these plaid areas. That looks great. Now we're going to come in. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We need to put our collars on our dogs. There's a little collar in here, and I'm going to stamp the yellow collar. You could use a marker if you wanted to, but it does come with a stamp to be able to do this, so that's kind of fun. And then also we'll do one right over here on this dog. We can punch this dog out. Here's that guy, and we are going to add that right to our inside layer. So this is the four by five and a quarter inch layer, same that we use to die cut. And I'm just gonna add that in here. Now I could stamp a sentiment in here, but I think I'd like to have the room to write my message. 
because I am making get well cards. So I always like to, you know, put a nice little message in, wishing people well. Here comes this layer with that deckled rectangle onto our two and three quarters by four and an eighth inch daffodil delight layer. There we go. Now this little black layer is going to go right over here. And I'm going to bring this in and center it. So I just kind of want to give it a dry fit and see where I want to do this. We're going to be cutting this edge off and that looks pretty good to me. Okay. So the black layer is in a good spot right there. I always do kind of a little dry fit with stuff. And we're going to put that right over to the very edge of the card. We'll add some dimensionals to our sentiment layer. Let's make sure I have this in the right place. I think what I'm going to do is just lay it down here and decide where I'm going to cut that off at. I'm going to hold it real still. We'll see if I can actually accomplish this. <laughs> however you choose to do this, <laughs> but that's how I did it. And add some dimensionals so we can pop this up a little bit. These are many dimensionals. And uh, this Christmas Scotty is actually a kit that I have. I have a whole kit for this with four different card designs. You get to make two of each for eight cards. And mini dimensionals are included in the kit. You get an entire pack. As well as a whole pack of our iridescent pearls. Uh, there are 150 pearls in this pack. A roll of the black and white gingham ribbon. A whole pack of the perfectly penciled designer series paper, eight envelopes, and cardstock cut and ready to go for. Whoops. Eight cards. Don't put this on here yet. I messed up. I was. We need to put this on here first. You're like, what is she doing? Did you say that? I hope you were saying that. What is she doing? I was just so having so much fun with my dimensionals. So I'm going to put this right in the middle. And then we'll add our dimensionals on here again. Let's get these off of here. I got ahead of myself, which isn't real unusual. Okay. There we go. All right, now we're gonna put this on here and butt that right up against the edge. I like that black popping out from under this label. Okay, next thing I wanna do is I wanna take some of those pearls and that's where our stamp and Blend marker comes in. You can make these pearls any color you would like them to be. Oh, look at my marker. This one is in pretty rough shape. But don't worry, I have a new one. This one I just use for stuff like this because it got kind of mashed. Okay. And we're going to take this. Isn't that cool that you can make these the same color you need? I think I'm going to do a few more. I like these a lot. And you do get a lot of them, so. Just put one right up there, and maybe one right over there. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah, isn't this cool? I can't wait to send this out. To wish somebody well. Recovery from surgery, that's my plan. And then I have the beautiful Orchid Oasis. I did the same exact card. I just used Orchid o Oasis instead of the Daffodil Delight. So 
Isn't this cool? This is the Christmas Scotty bundle. You get the stamp set and the punch together. When you buy them together, you save 10%. This is all part of my August um, kit class. And three of the cards are not Christmas cards and one card is a Christmas card. And I always have the element of surprise with these cards. So if you would like to order that kit, you will find a link to order that, or a, I should say a link to all the details um, in under the YouTube video. When you click on see more, there's gonna be all kinds of links in there that'll take you to my blog. You're gonna click right up here to head over to my blog to this particular blog post. You will find a free downloadable project sheet there. And also don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming out. And I do encourage you to go check out the blog hop. This is the Stamper's Dozen design team and anything goes this month. So you're going to see a big variety of um, different ideas. If you are new and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a .com. I would be happy to send you our current catalogs and don't forget celebration is going to be over august 31st with each 50 dollars that you order you get to choose one of the items out of here for free we have some 50 dollars items some hundred dollar items it is the best time of the year to stock up on your cardstock and your adhesives so you can get free merchandise lots of fun things going on here if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me i'm always happy to help you out Thank you so much for taking the time to visit my blog today. Head over to the blog hop and have yourselves a great Sunday night. Bye-bye.